this is reposted. I have a romantic notion that one day I'm going to go back and listen to some of these episodes and <laughs> part of it, I'll be able to look at what was happening in my life. This quotes I've been picking have been directly related to things I'm going through. I'm doing a home renovation and I heard this for the first time when I started my first job this is for my boss. It's the devil is in the details. There's so many little things that with like, I ordered a dishwasher and I thought my plumber could install it, but I need to have an appliance person install it. All these little things that always are piling up. And the more I've thought about this, I think that phrase means something different to the personality type. We have different Enneagram types. Nicole's is different than me. The devil in the details is probably what she lives by. I like to be detail oriented. You're probably a little bit less than me, but I'm curious, what does it mean to you? Or do you even think it's true? Funny chance was your boss, and he said, "Dur two full spectrum detail." Yeah, he yep. was when I worked in Dusseldorf, <laughs> but uh, I didn't understand German, and so I had to move back to the U.S. I, I am definitely the king of non-details um, <laughs> because yeah. details are sort of meaningless, I guess, supposedly in my life. And I'm getting worse because <laughs> I married a very detail-oriented person who takes care of all the details for me. Well, I guess you've been married for 15, 16 years, an unknown amount of years, but 20 <laughs> years ago, would the lack of attention to detail affect you in a positive or negative way? Dude, both, for sure. I mean, I was horrible at paying attention to details. In my, I think the most common example is, you know, kids have to write out their math problems, right? It's not that you just not getting the right answer for hardcore algebra. You got to show how you got your answer. And that's yeah. details. That matters. They don't even care that you got the answer right, but do you know what you're doing? Yeah. I think I might be first in line to explain to the world why Larry Olson's not good at details. <laughs> All out of love. But to be fair, there is a attention to detail. Like when we have people on this show, you prep and you have the details. Like if you say, if say we had Carly Lloyd on the show, you're like, what's it like being the goaltender for the U.S. women's soccer team? That would be embarrassing. So that like it matters on every level of life. I, I think the difference is those are like data points, not details to me. And like when I see with someone's bio, I like could just like lack, I latch onto what I think is like a really important data point. So I think there's a little bit of a dif difference there. That sounds like we're talking, you're splitting hairs on yeah. Larry. Larry doesn't like details, but if you give him <laughs> some data points, they're going to stick in his head. Yeah, certainly. Like I'm like, I'm not a huge magazine. I'm not a huge book reader, right? But I love magazines because I feel like magazines give me bullet points, whereas books take forever to read. I think that's the difference with me. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess there's there's not much else to get into it. The the details oh, are. This are is huge, them? honestly. I listen. I married the perfect person because she cares about details so much so that it's almost like living with sleeping in the enemy. She can't have dinner in our room, if all of the cupboard doors aren't shut, if the blinds aren't the right way, wow. if the cuffs aren't positioned in the right spot, if cuffs aren't put away, she literally will, not, she'll walk around the room with the warm dinner before all of the details are checked off so she can eat. I wanna take this opportunity to restate that Sleeping with the Enemy is a terrible movie. But <laughs> I think kind of, you can kind of take a look at what's important to you and see what data points or what details stick. like. I can see a car and pretty much tell you the year range and the name of the model because I think cars are interesting. Nicole could tell you zero or I could tell you how to get somewhere um, without using a map because I care about that type of stuff. So maybe the devil in the details is the things you don't care about is where bad things can happen. So if you know you don't care about the data points, maybe it's a reminder to be more intentional on what you're absorbing or what you're working on. Absolutely. I mean, of course, details are important. Absolutely. But so is the 5,000 foot view. Right. You it have to choose when to vacillate between what, and it's easier for some people to do. Like my wife is very good at focusing on the details. It's hard for me to do. It's easier for me to look at the 5,000 foot view. And it's like, when do we, when do I give up on her details? And when does she give to me the five? And that's the tension in our marriage. But I also think individually, each person has to have that. Yeah, I, 
I think this could easily tack on to whatever personality test you want to do. Like if you do an Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, personalysis, any of those, I think your attention to detail is a huge indicator of your personality type. Like I would guess, I have no idea. I would guess that you do not like doing um, jigsaw puzzles. Is that oh, true? I hate, oh yeah. my God. Oh. I think Nicole and Karen are the same Enneagram type. I think they're both ones. She's a one, right? Yeah. And they, she loves puzzles. Oh. My uh, sister-in-law gave Nicole a um, pre-wedding present. I don't know what it's called. It was, <laughs> she made a jigsaw puzzle out of our save the date. And Nicole was like, I'm going to start on it right now. And I was like, I'm going to do zero work on that. How many pieces? Uh, I don't know. I think it's 500, 1,000. Oh, my gosh. That's so great. But Nicole did like that. a 2,000-piece puzzle, and she loves it, I think. I mean, old man in me says, I don't want to do it because I have to bend over and it hurts my back. But really, I just don't want to focus on the monotony of those details. Did you go back? I, I feel like they somewhat attributed this quote to Nietzsche a little bit. And then the variance on this quote is that uh, God is in the details. And I really do think like details are important. Like when you like when you like a car, for instance, right, when you flip up the hood of a car and you see all of the things that go in to make it work. That's like a, it's amazing. When yeah. you look at details on thing and rest in it, it really is amazing. Like, but for me, it could just overwhelm me. Like my brain just can't take all of that in, but details are amazing. I think your, your brain can, you said uh, your love language on one of these shows, one of these days was gifts. And <laughs> if I got you a ficus and just gave it to you as a gift, that wouldn't mean anything, but the detail <laughs> thought that you went into it. I don't know if you like a ficus or not, but like it can be as complex as a um, Swiss watch, or it can be as simple as I know you like single batch bourbon. And there's like a detail or a thought that goes into that. Anyway, there's nothing, no. su nothing super deep, but I just, I thought it was interesting and it, it plays into my life. No, it's awesome. And I would just, the last thing I would say is this, you, whatever way you are, you're wired for details or not, like it's good to do the other thing because it's good to stretch yourself. And I think your brain as you get older needs to be stretched and not. So I do need to start doing puzzles and I do need to start working on the details so that I can stretch my brain because I feel like that will last me way longer in life, working my brain. Yeah, it's like working on uh, dribbling with your left hand. If you want to be a basketball Correct. player, you work on the stuff you don't want to do yep. because it's easier. Yep. Well, if you want to work on your jump shot, please reach Woo! out. You can find us at Reposted Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I'm Andrew Keller for Jason Kidd saying thanks for stopping by.